Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to talk about how to kill off Internet Explorer and get rid of other unwanted compatibility features in Windows 10. I mean, there's a lot of older apps that continue to kind of come along through these different versions of Windows 10, like Internet Explorer, which, you know, uh, is officially kind of dead and been replaced with Microsoft Edge, or other sort of supported features that only exist for compatibility issues like Windows Media Player, uh, fax and scan and things like that. And getting rid of those isn't hard, but it is a little buried in menus, so you gotta kind of know the trick of how to get there. So, to start off, uh, you're gonna wanna go down here and click on the search bar on the bottom, and just start typing in features. And what should come up is turn Windows features on or off. It might not always be here at the top and best match. It might sometimes be down here under settings. So be sure you look for that. Don't look for manage optional features. You specifically want turn Windows features on or off. Click on that and it's going to pull up a list of every single sort of built-in Microsoft Windows feature that comes uh, standard in, uh, in Microsoft Windows 10. And so here you can see Internet Explorer 11 there. You just click that and it'll tell you, you know, hey, this might affect other applications. Just go ahead and say okay, because Internet Explorer is pretty self-contained and doesn't really get used. Uh, and you can, you know, go through here and look for other things you want to remove as well, like Windows Media Player um, and anything else you need to get rid of uh, that either is bogging your system down, and you're never going to use, and you want to get it out of there so it's not even visible as an option, uh, and can potentially, you know, give you a little security boost uh, as well. When you're done, click OK and then reboot your machine, and if you try to look for Internet Explorer or Windows Media Player or anything else you disabled, you're not going to be able to find it. The only way to get it back is to recheck the box, and uh, Windows should re-enable it. Alright, that's it for me. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tips just like these.